So here's a nitrogen experiment that I set up. So basically what this is doing is I have a compressed nitrogen tank right here that's all hooked up with solenoid valves into eight separate compartments as you can see. Each compartment has O2 sensors, temperature and humidity for uh, monitoring the, the environment that it's in. Some of them have sponges, some of them don't. Right now I'm testing fruit in the environment. But basically how the whole system works is I'm reading O2 inside these compartments and once the O2 gets above 2.5% overall, I know that the nitrogen content inside here is roughly 97.5. So once it gets over 2.5, I have the solenoid valves open up and we refill the the containers with nitrogen down to 1.5 oxygen which would be about 98.5 percent nitrogen so all these containers are have roughly about 98 to 99 percent nitrogen inside them <clears throat> plus humidity depending on what I have or what I have in them whether it's a sponge or a fruit I wired all this up it was 158 different wires and relay switches for the solenoid valves and all these sensors that I had to read so Wired all this up, I had to code this all from scratch, just did it in Arduino, but basically this is just the script that reads sensors uh, and then fills up the containers with nitrogen if need be. If not, it just print lines it out to uh, comma separated values so I can get it in Excel and I get a ton of data and look at all my data. So as you can see, my data automatically fills up we have so as this goes every few seconds here we get a new reading so as you can see I go all the way up one of them's filling right now which one's filling so number seven's filling so number seven must have gotten over 2.5 percent oxygen so now that's filling now it's closed uh, as you can see I have time, date, container, O2 reading, temp, humidity, and then if it refilled or not. And as we scroll down, you can see, there it is. That one right there got over 2.5, so that filled up, but it just scans through and I have the temperature, the humidity, and whether it refilled. I'm gonna add ethylene into this, but Right now the experiment's running good and I have a lot of data for each container to know how different foods react in this environment. Once I add ethylene you'll see that I'll have different reactions or I'll be able to contain it better. But overall it works pretty good for food storage, much better than refrigeration. Case in point, I took a kiwi. Let's see here. I took a kiwi and I cut it in half and I let it sit overnight. This one sat out ambient, which dry as fuck. And then this one sat inside the container and it's still a very fresh and wet kiwi. So put that back together. This will refill now because the O2 concentration will probably be over about 20 now because I opened it, but whatever. But now you'll see that I close this. This is going to refill here in a few minutes. A few seconds, maybe. There it is. So now that I turned on, my solenoid turned on, and this is now filling back up with nitrogen. As you can see, when I opened it up, it shot up to 21.4 in my data, all my data. But I have a bunch of macros running to, to run this Excel sheet and repopulate everything. So let's see, we'll let, let this uh, tank fill up right quick. Alright, so now that's full again, so now we're going to get more readings. So either one or six is going to pop up here. There's one. It's going to run back through. 